I'm Karin. Welcome to my kitchen. If you've been grilling this summer, you might have some leftover steak. I'm kind of picky about what I do with my leftover steak. If you're not careful, it gets tough and tastes like the refrigerator. I usually like to leave it chilled and slice it. Put it on a salad or a delicious sandwich. To have a good steak sandwich, you need a killer sauce. My favorite might just be romesco. Not to be confused with the chartreuse vegetable in the silver family. That's Romanesco. Some friends of mine gave me some beautiful wild Minnesota elk steaks, but this sauce is also great with other meats or even grilled vegetables. I don't have a grill, so I gave my steak a nice sear and some butter and gave it a good rest for the perfect medium rare. Like most sauces, Romanesco has its variations, but it always has some sort of nut, oil, and a combination of tomatoes and red peppers. It's just important that one of the elements has a smokiness to it. I don't even have a gas stove, so I can't really char these very well. So I'm going to put them under the broiler. I'm going to leave the red pepper whole. And then these tomatoes, I'm going to core and cut in half. Give these a little drizzle of olive oil. We'll set our timer for 10 minutes to let these start to get blistery on the outside. Make sure you turn your pepper so it gets charred on all sides. While those are broiling, we can get everything else ready. Here I have um, about a half cup of almonds that we're going to use. You can also use hazelnuts. And I've already toasted these. I'm just giving them a good chop. I'm going to mince two small garlic cloves. You could also do one big one. Normally you'd use paprika, smoked paprika, in romesco sauce. I don't have that, so I'm going to use some ancho powder. And just a couple dashes of Worcester sauce for the smokiness. That's a hack move right there. Meanwhile, our tomatoes and pepper are ready to come out. We'll take the skins off of both and remove as many seeds as we can, leaving just the flesh. The idea is just to get a lot of liquid out of these peppers and tomatoes. I'm going to give them a quick chop and then we'll blend them. Food processor is ideal for this, but if you don't have one, you can gently use a blender. So I have my garlic, my almonds in here. I'm going to add a quarter cup of sherry vinegar, about a third cup of olive oil. We're going to start with a teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of salt, a good twist of black pepper, one teaspoon of our ancho powder, just a dash of red pepper flakes, you could also use cayenne, a couple drops of this Worcester sauce, by a couple I mean several, and we'll give it a good blend until it's nice and smooth, and when it is, we'll taste it for seasoning. We've got some romesco. Sweet, smoky, creamy, with just the right amount of acid from the vinegar, the romesco is a perfect backdrop for this chilled steak. With some spicy greens and this beautiful Spanish wine from New France, you've got a killer leftover meal. I'm very excited to see what my friend Erin has to say about this wine from Rioja. I'm Karin. Thanks so much for joining me. slice it and put it on a delicious, oop. <laughs> Easier said than done.